The outbreak is spreading fast. At least 26 people are dead in China. Doctors in Maryland are at the forefront of developing a vaccine for the mysterious pneumonia-like illness. WJC investigator Mike Kelgren is live in Howard County with the impact. Mike. Vic and Denise, the Howard County Chinese School has canceled its Chinese New Year celebration that's upcoming out of concerns of the coronavirus because people travel for between uh, China and Maryland. There have been no cases reported here in Maryland as of this time, but important work is being done on a vaccine. We're still about two to three months away from human trials. Panic in central China, ground zero for a deadly new form of coronavirus that has infected more than 900 worldwide. Two cases have been confirmed in the United States, in Seattle and Chicago, but Dr. Anthony Fauci of the Maryland-based National Institutes of Health says the danger here is low. Although we don't want the American public to be worried about this because the risk is low, clearly, on the other hand, we're taking it very seriously. So I've been working on uh, coronaviruses for eight years now. Important work to find a vaccine is underway in Maryland. WJZ spoke to Dr. Kayvon Majerit, director of the Emerging Infectious Diseases Branch at Walter Reed Army Institute of Research in Silver Spring. We are also developing uh, new tools for diagnosing. Um, and treating and preventing the virus as well. This new strand of coronavirus is similar to SARS, spread by close personal contact. A SARS vaccine was also developed in Maryland. SARS is in that family of viruses. There are seven of these coronaviruses that are known to infect humans. This one out of China is the latest one. So far, there's enhanced screening at five airports in the United States, but not at BWI, which has no direct flights to Asia. 63 people have been tested in 22 states. Dr. Majerid cautions the fight has only just begun. There's a lot that we don't know in terms of how the outbreak is unfolding, so it's important not to speculate because speculation often leads to unnecessary panic. And they're also testing people in Mexico. The new coronavirus has reached Europe with two confirmed cases in France. Reporting live in Howard County, Mike Helgren, WJZ.